Hello everyone, uh, the me and team here. This is actually my first YouTube video and my first uh, Let's Play video. And uh, today we're going to be going with uh, Civilization 4. Now I know the title screen says Warlords, but uh, actually I'm running the Beyond the Sword with the 3.17 patch. Now the reason I'm doing this, well actually the, the forum, Civilization Fanatics forums, kind of uh, prompted me to do this. And of the leaders they suggested I use, I'll go with uh, Mehmed. He's really the most rounded, well-rounded guy that people suggested. Uh, the only uh, custom option, I'm disabling events. I hate events, they're stupid. And uh, we're going to get put in a reasonable mix of leaders. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my runaway AI is still here, even though I completely removed my custom assets folder. So uh, we'll just have to deal with uh, chosen leaders. We'll put in some of the more fun ones. We already have one more longer. We'll, we'll put in Montezuma. Everyone likes Montezuma, right? <laughs> That's right. And who's the last guy? Okay, we all, they're all different. Okay, Monarch, Normal. Let's do Continents. Right. Yeah, that was Bladed Continents, too. And that should prevent any early abusive use of uh, Janissaries to completely dominate the map or anything like that. So uh, let's do this. Let's play Civilization 4. Now this is uh, somewhat of an instructional walkthrough, uh, mostly aimed at newer players, but other people might pick up a couple things, especially uh, the elements of my play that actually let me play quickly. Uh, hopefully I don't embarrass myself, setting it down to Monarch should do the trick. And let's go here. Alright, um, Livestock and Stone. We're gonna open up with animal husbandry, and I'm gonna consider the Great Wall, but not right away. Uh, explore my surroundings a little bit first while I'm teching animal husbandry here, and I'll just settle in place in the interest of time for this let's play. Uh, worker first. Yeah, he won't be out before I have a food tech. Good. Alright, uh, when exploring, I try to hug along the coast here. It lowers the chances of barbs, like, screwing me over. But, uh, that's, uh, player preference to an extent, too. And you do want to, on this speed, have an idea of your surroundings with your initial scout, too. That way you know where to put your first settler. Alright, I'm getting some hot luck, too. Normally I disable them, but, eh, I forgot to. <laughs> well, viewers, we may get a look at why uh, everyone hates Montezuma very soon. Uh, where did that scout come from? Alright, Montezuma came from the south. I if I have horses nearby, I'm, I'm gonna just going to kill him. Because he's seriously a pain to start next to you. He'll attack you unless he has someone else he hates more. Alright, after that, I'll go with Rod's working. <sighs> Great. The other great warmonger is also right next to me. Alright, this game might be a little harder than expected, but yeah, it's only Monarch, so should be able to do it still. Alright. This capital is pretty food poor. Um, I was mulling the Great Wall, but given our neighbors, probably not a good idea. I'm just going to grow a little bit here. And, ah, there's some horses. Let's improve the livestock. They get the commerce bonus from the river first. And I'm going to check out Alexander's land with my scout to see what kind of, uh, what kind of uh, resources he has next to him. Well, once I have the tech. And the zealot. Isabella is really, uh, you, you can consider her a warmonger that will declare on you if you're not in her religion. If you are in her religion, she's actually a really good ally. Like, he, I've had her win some games for me by uh, voting for me diplomatically and other things. Or just trading techs a lot. She's, she's a good partner, but only if you're in her religion. Otherwise, kill her or she'll kill you. Okay. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to need a barracks soon, actually. Normally I wouldn't open up of, uh, putting hammers into a barracks early, but I do want to grow 
But you know what? Actually, no, I'm going to build a warrior. Because I'm going to need something to uh, escort over here. Should I work or steal? It's pretty low. Nah, I won't work or steal. I'm going to keep looking for bronze in his territory. Yeah, I, I tried playing in full screen, but that wasn't working out for me. So I switched off to uh, what we're seeing here, the uh, partial screen. It, the, the, uh, the capture device doesn't flicker when I do it this way. Alright, um, I'm going to get some exploration done over here. And uh, start a road over there. Look at those horses. Now, I don't think anyone came from the east over. Hmm. That livestock's pretty tempting. I can go the two city route here, or I can plop one right here for the hammer's bonus. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. The question is, will the capital border pop in time for it to be, uh, to keep my rush from being delayed or not? And since I'm under time pressure, I'm, I'm really not going to bother calculating it out. I'm just going to use two cities. Keep the production going a little bit here. Alright. I'm going to actually build a road here so my settler can move there faster. And then I might actually start roading towards uh, Alexander. Slavery is one of the best civics in the game, if you have food. Well, one of the best early civics. Right now, my capital doesn't have a great deal of food, and my second city doesn't look like it will either. I'm going to get fishing next, because I'm going to need it to work those clams. Hmm. Alright, time for some chops. Actually, yeah. I probably want to improve the horses too, though. Crap, I didn't need that road. Yeah, I'll improve the horses first. I'm wasting more returns, who cares? And we settle here. probably actually a little faster just to build another worker for chopping. So I'm going to do that. <coughs> okay, mysticism next. That'll get us the monuments for border pops. Alright, now I've, now I've explored around a little bit. It's looking reasonably unlikely that Alexander has access to copper easily. And that's good because this unique unit is based on it and it would really screw a chariot rush over. Uh, we already have the Chariot Rush text, by the way, so we're looking good here. Actually, let's let's switch to the food first. Yeah, you almost always want to improve any food tiles you get first. Let's send this guy up here, and I'll chop and then mine that. Alright, now it's time to start massively chopping chariots out. Why not? It looks like if I can kill Alexander off, I'll get a huge amount of land to my north. Um, unless Isabella's up there. She probably is, actually. I'll go writing next. It's a pretty useful technology. Opening up the libraries, letting you run scientists for an early great person, which is actually pretty crucial. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's get the food tile going there. And barracks next. Oh, what's going on with that? Alright. Hey, <laughs> we're going to start with the chariots. I'm going to loop them so that they just produce automatically as I chop out. And since I've grown, I'm also going to chop a hill and line it. 
Uh, looks like I'm coming up on the 10 minutes though, guys. So I'll, I'll see you back in the next part, alright? Uh, this is the me and team signing off on Let's Play Civilization 4.